Welcome to Lumisil Microsystems and this step-by-step -step guide to get started developing with any of our 8-bit microcontrollers using Microsoft's VS Code IDE, the SDCC compiler, and the Easy ISP programmer and debugger. Start by going to lumisil.com to download the MCU development package. You'll find this under the Products tab under MCU. Scroll down to find your part number and then click on the Package Download link. Fill out the form and a download link will be sent to your email. Before you leave the website, you want to click on the document download link and get the data sheet, the sample code, and the MCU IDE user manual. Refer to the manual for more detailed instructions. And if you're not already using Visual Studio Code, you can find a link here to download and install it. When you've received the link, you can download the MCU code base. Unzip this file and remember where you save it. We'll come back to this in a minute. To begin setting up Visual Studio Code, click on the extensions icon, go to the search bar and type Embedded IDE. Find the Embedded IDE and click Install. When that's finished, and to ensure maximum compatibility, I recommend clicking beside the uninstall button on the drop down and click install another version. Then scroll down to version 3.6.4. Now click on the EIDE icon and go down to configure toolchain. Select the Small Device C compiler, then select the Local option. Then we'll browse back to our codebase folder. We'll click on the SDCC-Lumisil folder and select this folder. Once that's done, we'll click back on the Extensions icon. We'll go up here to More Actions and we'll select Install from VSIX. Now we're going to browse back to our code base folder and select the folder for extensions-lumisil. I'm going to select the lumisil tool.vsix and install. And now you have the extension for the lumisil utilities. Now let's install the software for the Easy ISP. Back in our code base folder, under Easy ISP, find the Easy ISP setup file and run the executable. Now let's link our Lumisil utility to the EasyISP software. So click on the icon for the Lumisil utility extension and click on set path. Select the EasyISP. Then browse to the location of your EasyISP.exe file. The default install location is shown here. Select it, click open. Now we are ready to create a project. There are detailed instructions to do this in the manual, but our codebase folder contains templates for each processor. These templates contain a project with the processor pre-configured and sample source code. This is a great starting point to make sure everything is set up correctly before you begin experimenting with your own source code. So let's click back on the embedded IDE icon. We're gonna click on new project then we'll click Local Template. Back in our code base folder, we'll open the uh, template-lumisil folder, and we'll select the EIDE 3.64 folder, and here is the 8975 debug template. It's gonna ask you to enter a name for your project, find your save location, and then it will ask if you wanna to switch to this workspace, can say yes. You can view your source files, your include files, and you can see an icon here to build, and it should say build successfully. If you have your Easy ISP programmer plugged in, you can click on the icon for your Lumisil utility and select 
Execute Easy ISP. This will bring up the interface for the Easy ISP programmer. Here you can select your processor, load a hex file, and program your part. See the Easy ISP user manual for detailed instructions. To enable debugging, open the Builder options. Select the Global Options tab and check the Output Debug Info box and then click Save All. Now if we launch the SDCC debug tool, we can open our project, we can browse our source files, we can start a debug session, set breakpoints, and read from memory. If you have an evaluation kit, you can refer to the user guide for connection diagrams, pen descriptions, schematics, and more. For more information, please visit our website or contact one of our representatives.